It's a very serious scientific crystal collection. Hi, welcome back. Oh my god, we've been putting up so many videos this week. Is this even the Nikki Limo channel anymore? I don't know. Why don't you subscribe, turn on notifications, and find out? So about a month ago, in my Ask Limo video, I said I was gonna show you my crystal collection as a joke because I did not think that you would be interested in it. But a lot of you commented and said you're actually interested in hearing about my crystal collection. And I like you. I think you're good people. So I will show you my crystal collection. Brief background before we get started. I started collecting crystals when I was like maybe three or four years old. I always just thought they were so pretty and I can't believe that they come from our earth like what that's a real thing nature makes actual treasure it blows my mind anyway when I was little I used to ask for pretty rocks the tumbled crystal stones so then I would get them as gifts and presents and stuff the first crystal I ever owned was a rose quartz crystal which is the stone of love but we'll get into that so I just collected them because I thought they were really pretty but then about 10 years ago somebody knew that I collected crystals and they gave me this book called the crystal Bible and if you collect crystals I'm sure you've heard of this book and it made me even more obsessed because not only does it tell you the source that it comes from like this particular one comes from the United States Austria Czech Republic Slovakia but it also goes into metaphysical properties of crystals that I did not know was even a thing so apparently there are books written about metaphysical properties of crystals and like how they can attract things into your life and I know that there are a chunk of you that think because I love learning about astrology or numerology or things that are just fun you think that I worship crystals which I good I hope you do I that's way more fun than what I actually feel is that it's just a fun thing to learn about it's like if you had comic books and they made you happy and you knew each superhero superpower I don't think it makes it anti-science to know about their superpowers it's just something fun that you have in your house so as I get into this crystal collection I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the metaphysical meanings of them, but I want you to know that I'm very pro-science, photosynthesis, I'm a very serious person, takes myself really seriously, it's a very scientific part of my life right here. With that being said, welcome to my magical land of magic rocks that have magic powers. My crystal collection, it's very serious. Before we go in there, it's very, very important that you wear the proper wardrobe. We do not want to offend the crystals. Come in, come in. Okay, but shh, but shh, because it's very... That's why Steve only gets this much of the closet. That's it. Because he's not sacred enough. Come closer. Well, oh, too close. Okay, wow, we made it in. The crystals seem to be taking to our garments, so that's good. We're gonna talk in a very low voice so as not to disturb them, okay? So shh. shh. Don't worry about that. I needed to cleanse your energy before you entered this field. I think you're good now. Ooh, what do we start with? Wow, so many crystals over here. Okay, this. This is a carnelian crystal. It is a base chakra crystal. It's great for your foundation. Not your like, not your makeup foundation, like the foundation of your soul being. It's a stone of confidence, passion, sensuality. This stone is down to f DTF stone. If you're missing sex in your life, this is stone for you. Helps you get that dick. Thank you. Next, I mean, shh, next. This is a selenite wand. It's good for cleansing your aura. So if you feel particularly dirty spiritually, this is a spiritual shower for you dirty, dirty souls out there. Whew. Again, nothing weird, very scientific. This is a fluorite stone. This is a stone for helping you connect to who you truly are, like inside, helping you know yourself. For all of you that are like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Get yourself a fluorite, you'll figure it out. I would say that this uh, was my favorite stone until it broke earlier this year. Yeah, it's broken, I wish it wasn't. They say, you know, they, they say that if you lose or break a stone, it means that it fulfilled what it was supposed to in your life. So I guess I really know myself really well now. So that's tight. This, you might find yourself saying, wow, what an ugly ass crystal. That's not shiny or sparkly at all. No princess would ever like that. But you're wrong. I actually, I don't really remember what this is. Let me check my crystal Bible. So it is actually a type of selenite. You know, the one that cleansed your aura earlier. You're welcome for that. Desert Rose controls emotional outbursts. Oh, that's why I got this stone. I think you're beautiful. This is black tourmaline. Okay, take a good ass look. This is a protector stone. It will protect you for, from assholes. You make it so that you don't receive their negative energies at you. Like people that judge your crystal collection videos. Do you know what I'm saying? I can't feel it. I don't know what hate you're leaving, but I can't feel it. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of black stones, this is some gold sheen obsidian. It's great for scrying, I don't know, screeing, which means seeing into your future. Ooh, see yourself doing taxes? Damn, you got a lot of future ahead of you. This is a rutilated quartz. If you look closely, you could see gold rutilations in there. I don't know exactly what they do, but I know it makes it more than just an average quartz. 
and it's pretty special. This amethyst is for your third eye chakra. Good for intuition. Probably other stuff too, but I don't know. It's a very powerful stone. Very serious stone here, very scientific. Gives you a lot of intuitive capabilities scientifically. Not just one, but two tiger's eye stones. Tiger's eye is a, so a stone of transition and change. So if you're like, yo, I hate my situation. This is a stone for you. Positive changes. You still need to put work into it, but it'll assist you. You know, you should pretty, you should, you should work on it though. Like you should really put some work into it if you want to. You want to change but like it'll help but like you should really work also huge chunky sodalite this this i got for like two bucks at a like gas station in the desert somewhere it's not the prettiest sodalite i've ever seen but i do really love sodalite because it is a stone of self-expression authenticity being able to um use your voice and communicate to others well it's part of the throat chakra which is where your voice comes from wow so if you're like man i got so much things to say but i don't know how to say them that's the stone for you or if you're like oh people think that i'm a crazy crystal loving freak um and i'm really not i'm really a very serious scientific person but i don't know how to express my authentic self this is the this is the stone for you. I also have some earrings made out of this. Ooh, ooh la la. Whoa, I showed you my smaller amethyst, but they actually have a bigger amethyst. Let's pretend we showed you this one instead. This one's a much more chunky boy. This is the amethyst starter kit. This is like, I'm following a little bit of my intuition. This is like, damn, my intuition is so dope. All right, next we got a citrine. This is the money stone. People carry it in their purses, their keychains. You can put this in the prosperity corner of your house if you're into feng shui. Also my birthstone now, my birthstone used to be topaz and then they like ran out of topaz. So they're like, you know what guys, we're just gonna give you this other more common stone called citrine. Hala hala make a dollar. If you're like, why am I so broke? Go take your money that you have left over and spend it on a citrine. Watch some money pour in. You could be living like this, but you're playing yourself. This is a blue lace agate. Kind of got the same properties as sodalite. It's really good for self-expression. If you're in a meeting and you're like, I really want to tell the boss this but i i don't know how because i'm just a meek little employee this will help you give you some power this is also a good stone for artists it's like for expressing your art next we got some green calcite oh shit there it is right there there's a picture of it Green calcite, I know it's good for controlling anger. It's a mental healer, dissolving rigid beliefs in old programs and restoring balance to the mind. It helps in letting go of what is familiar and comforting, but which no longer serves you. It's also good for if you work at a desk job or you're around computers a lot, the electromagnetic radiation that's coming off your computer and harming your spiritual aura. Get you some green calcite. It feels like soap, I like it. This is an ammonite, which is a fossil that's billions of years old, which is so cool. This is the raw, unpolished, version but sometimes they crack these open and polish them and it makes this like crazy fiery red opal looking stone I don't have any of those but I can show you a picture of it it's good for I don't know it's like a it's what is this good for probably like manifesting your whole dreams and desires well, hold on let me just really check this really quick there's a picture of it interdimensional exploration holy sh I told you this one was gonna be powerful. Wow. Interdimensional exploration is what the stone is. It's representing coming full circle and knowing a place for the first time. It has the soul's path encoded within it and is useful support for rebirthing. So if you're like, damn, I fucked up in my life. I wanna start over. There's a stone for you. How about these? These are fun. This is magnetite. It's what magnets are made out of. It's very science. These stones are really good for grounding. If you meditate with one in each hand, it's like bringing your self together like a magnet and that makes sense sometimes you need um rocks to bring all your energies together in the center i don't see anything crazy about that i should just show you all my calcites i got pink calcite i got orange calcite all of them have different properties pink is for attracting love and harmony this is orange calcite it's good for creativity if you have like a creative block or if you have an idea and you don't know how to make it happen orange calcite it's tight for that. It also just kind of looks like an like a piece of an orange. I kind of just want to eat it. I kind of just want to eat all of these. Is that weird? Nah, nothing about this video is weird. This, I can't remember what it's called. It just feels really cool. It's really dense and heavy. Um, it's kind of bronzy looking, which is so mid-century modern aesthetic. It reminds me of like a meteor that hit the earth. I really, really like the feeling of it. I think it starts with a P. Hold on. So bad at being a crystal expert. Pumice is a crystal? What? 
That's crazy. I think it's called this, Petrocyte. It's fairly recent discovery, said to hold the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Damn, I got the keys to heaven right here in my hand. Fight me. Please don't, I don't like to fight. It's said to dispel the illusion of separateness and to remove beliefs and conditioning imposed by other people. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. This is a sunstone. It's, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. It has the powers of the sun in it. I guess this one did everything it needed to in my life, but this is a Tibetan quartz. I thought it was so cool because it's got like little pieces of black tourmaline inside of it. Like it ate a black tourmaline and now it's digesting it. This is a rose quartz angel, which my mom gave to me. Rose quartz is a stone of love, harmony, Compassion, self-love. This is the stone that attracts you a boyfriend. If you would like a boyfriend, this is the stone for you. Or a girlfriend, I don't know how you roll. This is the stone that attracts love. And if you don't believe in magic powers, how do you think I got this? Boobs and a sparkling personality? I don't think so, where are they? See, it was all this. And then I have some various other stones around the house. I have a pyrite stone, which is like a business stone that's on my desk. I have a selenite tower that helps to like clear the air while you sleep. And again, all of this is 100% scientifically backed, so don't come at me. I also was really into jewelry making from the time I was 12 to the time I was 26. And about eight years ago, I was making jewelry with crystals. So I made like, like this necklace. This is a tangerine cord. I made this necklace out of carnelian, which I talked about earlier, and hematite, which is a grounding stone. This is a smoky quartz necklace. I wore this one for a long time. This one is, this is a kunzite crystal, and it's good for self-love. I mean, a lot of them are, a lot of the pink crystals are about love, so like self-love, finding love. Also have some amethyst in there and some rose quartz, again all about love. This was like a love necklace. And coincidentally, it was the year that I started dating Steve. This everyone thinks is a mood ring. It's not, it's a labradorite crystal. Also called the black moonstone. A lot of these stones mean the same thing, but it's like knowing yourself, you know, being your authentic self. I think that's, for me, most of these just give me like a reminder throughout the day. To, to focus on. Just like how my clothing, colors, I just need like constant reminders because I tend to get stressed out a lot and sometimes it's nice to look down and at your Labradorite ring and be like, you know what? I'm gonna connect to who I really am right now. So yeah, there's my crystal collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, I really hope you took it super seriously. I like knowing the meanings behind things or like the, the assigned meanings. There's a lot of books written on crystals and they all seem to have the same agreed upon meaning for each one. So I think that's really fascinating. I think things are just more fun to have that way. It's like the difference between having a generic piece of art on your wall and having a piece of art that means something to you or you know the backstory on that piece of art or you're into like the medium or like the um, the techniques that they use to paint it. Something like that. So I like to wear jewelry and when it has a meaning behind it, it just kind of reminds me of that when I'm looking at it. I like that aspect of it. So I'm super excited to announce what I've been wanting to announce all year. I've been working on this all year. It was really hard to keep my mouth shut about it. These, oh my God, these cat crystal necklace and earring sets. I'm working on different colors of metal, I'm working on different stones, and I'm working on um, releasing them separately. But right now, uh, they're launching as a set. This is the first piece of the collection and I'm so excited about it and I'm so happy that it's rose quartz. That's the first stone that I've ever had. And it's a stone of love. That is launched, I announced it on Instagram earlier this week. You should definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not already because I announce things on there and sometimes I announce them before they come out on YouTube. I'll leave all the info in the description. They're not all gonna be crystal related, but um, the first line of jewelry that I am launching is also inside, I don't have it here, but there is a personalized note for me in every single box and I'm so excited about that. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this and I will see you next time, probably soon at the rate that I'm uploading videos. Holy bejesus. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot our closing chant. Please like me, please like me, please like me, please like me.